This gravity arm is an experimental device which I constructed to, to determine if it were possible to have over unity effects using gravity, the principle of leverage, and the principle of unbalance. Before going into measurements and testing, I will show construction and theory. For every turn of the motor, there is one turn with the gravity arm. Therefore, the ratio is saying one to one. There is no gearing effects that are different. The principle of leverage is attained from the distance from the center to the motor. The principle of unbalance is created by one side, the weight being subtracted, and the other side the weight being added. Gravity being the principal static force. This is considered my input. The maximum that the motor can lift. And this is considered my output. What further added weight that can be as an over unity. We will first find the maximum weight that the motor can lift The motor is able to lift and spin the unit as well as lift and rotate the weight by itself. We want to find the maximum of the motor itself that it can rotate. I'll add some washers. The motor cannot spin or rotate the arm and the weight. This is called the stall weight, but you can see that it does spin the unit as a whole. The reason it can do that is because of the principle of leverage and the principle of unbalance taking effect. That is where the over unity is coming from. We will see now, besides that much weight, anything that we can turn here now is a gain. We'll see if two washers Commentators. Can turn two we we'll add three more. This will make five. Go ahead and add 
total of 15. I was reaching my maximum what I could fit on here. This is my output. We'll see if we'll be able to turn 15 washers. We'll go ahead and I'll show you the construction once again. The small DC motor is geared as it's working around 60 RPM, a little more. The commentators, I built two copper tubings, pushed them over a wheel, a foam wheel. The two springs are my contacts. This is where my feed comes from my wall adapter, 7.5 volts. Construction is very straightforward. The two opposite weights work as an unbalanced. 